five easy tips and tricks to turn your Roblox from this and do something more like this. So let's get started. So for step number one, either type FPS Roblox Unlocker in Google or click the link in the description. And it's gonna bring you to this website. Then just go to the asset folder and click this. It should start to download. You're gonna wanna open up your downloads folder, then right click it. Go down the 7-zip, then unzip the file. You're gonna wanna put that unzip file somewhere you can find it consistently, so maybe in your documents folder or on your desktop. A file window should open up with some text, and it should be working, but we'll make sure it's working later on. So, after you've opened up the FPS Unlocker, just head to the bottom right of your screen. If you did the steps correctly, you should see a Roblox logo there. You're gonna wanna right-click that. Then, just hover over FPS Cap. Make sure it's set to None, so we get the maximum amount of frames we can possibly get, which is good. The more frames we get, the smoother it should be. And that cuts it for that part. The next step, just go to your desktop and go to the search bar in the bottom left. Once you're there, type in system, then click the best match. Once you're on this page, you're gonna wanna click display on the left hand taskbar. Right there, perfect. You're gonna wanna scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says graphic settings. Click that, and then you basically made it to the place where we need to be. Make sure your GPU acceleration is set to on, and then near the bottom, click the browse button. That should open up File Explorer. In my case, I have Roblox installed on my desktop. So in File Explorer, I went to desktop, then hit the Roblox launcher. Press open, then bam, Roblox is selected. Once Roblox is selected, you're gonna wanna hit options. That should open up this window. For the maximum FPS, select high performance. Then hit save. And with that, that concludes this step. Off to the next one. In my opinion, this step helps the most with fixing input lag, so I would highly suggest you do this. To begin, just go to the link in the description, and it's going to bring you to MediaFox. Once you're here, guys, just click the big blue download button. After it's done downloading, we're going to want to unzip it just like we did with the FPS unlocker. Then just drag the unzip file onto your desktop. Open it and click the alt enter fix batch file. Once you launch it, it should only stay open for like a second or two. It will auto change the files it needed and close itself after it's done its task. It's very, very simple. Basically, this program just adds full screen mode back after you hit alt enter in a game. And then this brings us to our final step. The built in server finder for Roblox is basically terrible. And in games like Phantom Forces and Arsenal, ping matters a lot and lower ping will just make your latency a lot lower and feel a lot more smooth if you have a nice low connection. But this fix only really works for Phantom Forces and Arsenal, sadly. Instead of playing Phantom Forces normally, you're going to want to look up Phantom Forces Matchmaking. It should look exactly like this. This Roblox game communicates with other Phantom Forces servers to try to determine which server you would have the lowest amount of ping in. I'll be honest, I don't really know all the technical stuff behind it. I just know I get a lot more smoother games when I use this. If you want the Arsenal matchmaking game, that will also be in the link in the description. Now we're just basically going to check if everything's working correctly. So to start off, we just want to click Alt Enter, and that should put us in the full screen mode, native full screen. And this will, as I said earlier, it's going to make your game a lot smoother, a lot less input lag. Native full screen just a lot better. Then after that, we want to click Shift F5. And that's going to put your FPS counter on the top left of your screen. As you can see, I'm getting 150, 130 FPS. And that's letting us know that the FPS unlocker is working correctly. If any one of these tips and tricks help you achieve higher FPS with lower input lag, like, please consider leaving a like as a payment. Getting 100 likes on this video would make me so happy. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. And I hope you guys have a lovely, lovely day. Peace.